Hi everyone, it's Kolo Cooks channel and today we're gonna cook some beef chicks. Now, one of my subscribers on Instagram asked me to do some beef chicks and this is what I have for him. So this is the beef chicks I got, I got three beef chicks and as you can see the structure is quite unique of these beef chicks. Uh, these are the chewing muscles so they're pretty rough and um, tough but if you cook it right they're gonna be just as melting in mouth as my oxtails. So, this is gonna be a long recipe and it's gonna have a lot of ingredients as well. So let's start with the ingredients then. First thing first, you need a bottle of red wine. And this time I chose Pata Negri, it's very famous Spanish wine. Not too expensive and it uh, has a really nice taste. So you will need a bottle of red wine. Remember that don't use the cheapest wine for cooking, use the wine you usually drink. Then we will need some carrots. I have um, six carrots here. I have three beef shakes for six carrots. I have one bunch of celery and fennel here. Three onions, they're roughly chopped. Here I have garlic, ginger and uh, chili pepper. I have one chili pepper, five garlics and one piece like that of a ginger. Then we will need some cornichon or pickles. So we need pickled cucumbers and pickled onions. Just a bit, like three gherkins like this and three onions like that. In terms of spices, we will need a bay leaf, we will need a cinnamon stick and we will need star anise or honey star. Then we will also need uh, some smoked paprika, a bit of secret, this is a musket nut. We will need a good liter of uh, beef stock. Well, you can use any stock you have back home. You can even use the little cubes or whatever it's called, I'm not really using them, but they work fine as well. Then we will need some olive oil and we will need a bit of butter. Now all we have to do is mix everything together, have a nice smoothie and have extra three hours for cooking this recipe. And also, I almost forgot, this recipe will have amazing juice from it, so it's really nice to serve it with something very starchy. Potatoes have a lot of starch, then uh, pasta has starch as well. Starch is uh, one of the most famous carbohydrates and the thing is, it sucks in the juices so the, your potatoes will be just better or your pasta will be just better. So, let's start cooking! First thing first, we put the olive oil and the butter in. Let's start with the olive oil. So olive oil, just a bit, it should cover the bottom of the, the casserole. Butter makes everything better. Just a small piece of butter. Wait until it melts down. Let's put the beef chicken from yourself. A bit of salt. A bit of pepper. Now we turn it. Do the same on this side. We need to close down every side of the stick. Take it away. Do the same on the second chick. So pepper. This one in. This one Onions in. Now carrots in. Chunks are pretty big. So it's like the size of a thumb. Let's add celery and fennel. Fennel. Chili pepper, ginger and garlic in. This will spice up things a little bit. Now since this dish is quite sweet, so far we need to add some acidity to it. So we add uh, three little jerkins and three pickled onions. 
we add some smoked paprika. About a tablespoon. A bit of muscat nut. One teaspoon. Put the meat back. One. I decided to cut the big piece, so I'm gonna have four big, big chips. And now we add the bottle of red wine. Red wine in. Let's wait until it's hot. It's boiling now, so we add some of the beef stock. This is my beef stock. Perfect. And we forget about this for two and a half hours at least. And I forgot to add two bay leaves, a cinnamon stick and the honey star. Pour it in. And now we forget. And with the miracle of time, we have the following result. Look at that. This looks nice. So this is what we have in the end. This is super soft. I mean, just like, wow. Let's try it. This is probably one of the best meat I ever cooked. Took in total three hours. Just amazing. I don't know what else you need in life. If you have this, it's a great dish. I highly recommend you to try it. It's very easy to do. Uh, no special skills you need to have, you only need to have some beef chicks and you're good to go. Now thank you very much for watching me, uh, I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit the like button, if you don't like my videos, hit the dislike button. If you feel like you can subscribe to my channel and I'll show you more recipes later, but this one is really good. Thank you, I'll show you more recipes later, thank you, bye!